Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new series that I'm going to be doing on my channel, which is going to be from zero to 10 million gold from transmogs only. And how I'm going to be doing this is selling transmogs, farmed transmogs on the auction house. And the goal is to get from zero gold all the way up to 10 million gold. This is the character that I'm going to be doing it with. So this dude right here, it's called Buffy Mogs, and basically I'm going to be farming on my main druid. We're going to be sending all the farmed transmog items to this character, and then I'm going to be selling them on this character. Now before we get started, I'm going to be showing you the set out I'm going to be using for TSM. So I'm going to be using TSM to sell the items, and so I'll show you exactly what I'm going to be using. And now all of the farms I'm going to be doing in this series are all inside my gold making guide. So I'm going to be following my own gold making guide using all the farming spots and techniques inside of that. Now to start things off, I'll show you the TSM settings I'm going to be using to sell the items and to vendor the items and everything like that. So let's go down to Buffy Mogs. So he's a brand new character. As you can see, brand new, no sales whatsoever. And basically, what we're going to be doing is using these operations. So to sell the transmog pieces, this is going to be the TSM settings I'm using. So the minimum price will be 50% of the DB market value. And then if they can't find the DB market value, it will be the DB region market average. And that is for the minimum price and maximum price which means it will post if there's no competition is going to be 100% of the DB market or 100% of the DB region market average. Then the maximum price will be 200% of the DB market or 200% of the DB region market average. Now the reasoning behind the minimum price, if there are others listed, below 50% of the DB market, basically what this minimum price will do is it will post it at the minimum price. That, that way I'm not selling the transmog pieces that I've went out and done hard work to farm for below 50% of the DB market value. Meaning if other people have it below that, mine will just post for 50% of the DB market um, price. And then basically, if I'm not getting the sales because there's people under me, I'll simply wait some time and eventually the price will go back up above 50% of the DB market price and that is where I can get the sales. However, most items are going to be above the 50% of the DB market and that is where we will undercut competitors either at the 100% or all the way up to the 200% and we'll actually undercut the competition on the auction house when posting with these TSM settings. Now these settings are all inside of my gold making guide also, but let's get into the vendoring. So if we head over to vendoring here, and this is what I'm going to be using on my druid when I farm it. So basically what I'll be doing is adding the items to a group and anything that is under 100 gold, it's going to automatically sell that for me. This way I don't have a whole heap of items transmog items listed up on the auction house which are below 100 gold. So with these items they'll be going straight to the vendor and I'll just vendor them right away. This main reason I'm going to be doing this is so I don't have thousands of items that are below 100 gold and I have to keep relisting them every single 24 hours. And I don't think I mentioned but with our selling group we're going to be selling them for an auction duration of 20 of oh, 48 hours and we're not going to be doing any undercutting or cancel scans on the items we're just going to post them up for 48 hours with the TSM operations that we have right here and then after the 48 hours is up we're simply going to repost them and just keep on reposting every 48 hours and now using TSM this is where we're going to track all of the sales so this shows the sales per day. It shows a whole heap of other data. So if you just look at all these things, it'll have like the top sale, 
um, the average amount of gold that we've earned per day, uh, the top items, and things like that that would be very important when tracking this. So hopefully we can get this all completed before Dragonflight is over. However, we're going to be doing this non-stop until we reach that 10 million gold on this one character. Now I do expect to have a whole heap of items listed up on the auction house, probably way over the 10 million mark because the best way to sell transmog items because they have a low sell rate, you want to have a huge catalog of items. So the more items that you have, the more daily sales, the more sales you'll get in general because it's all a numbers game. So the more items you have listed, the more sales you will get. All right, so to get started, what we're going to do is obviously send four bags to this character and we're going to need a tiny bit of gold to start listing the items up on the auction house for the auction house posting uh, deposit fee. So we're going to send over 1K gold and four bags to begin our journey on our way to 10 million gold. All right, so this is the main character that I'm going to be doing all the farming on. So this is my druid. It's an alliance druid on the same server as Buffy Mogs. That is the character we're selling the mogs on. And basically this is set up with the same TSM vendor settings. So if we go over to our um, operations right here and go down to vendor, it has the same operations for selling. So basically, well for vendoring. So basically anything that is under 100 gold, it's going to automatically sell. And if you didn't know how to set this up, I'll show you how it works. So you want to head over to groups here and you want to make a group that you're going to be putting the items in that you want to have automatically vendored for you. And what you can do is simply click this button right here and it'll select all of the items that are in your inventory. So we have a few um, sample transmog items right here that we just went and farmed. And basically what you want to do is simply click on that, that button right there which will select them more and then you click add all the items and that will add them to the group you have set up. And now what you'll be able to do, see these are the example transmog items here. As you can see, there's a couple, like this one for an example, the axe. There are a couple of these which are super cheap. So this is like worth six gold. And now it would be a nuisance and a time waste to be relisting hundreds and thousands of these items that are only worth six gold to sell when you can just vendor them and it'll be a lot easier. So what we're going to be doing is using that vendoring um, operation in TSM and basically when we open up a mount and go to a vendor or just use any vendor in the game, it doesn't have to be a mount vendor, but when we use absolutely any vendor, you want to head over to groups, have the group selected that you put the items in and then when you click sell group, it's going to sell anything that is below that vendoring threshold. So we have it set at 100 gold. So any transmog pieces that are one, under 100 gold will automatically be vended. Like I mentioned before, this is just to keep items above 100 gold um, that we're going to keep. And then we're going to send them over to our alt, which is Buffy Mogs, which is going to be selling all the transmog pieces. All right. Now, another add-on that is going to be super crucial in this journey is going to be Postal. And Postal is an add-on which helps with mailing items and anything related with the mailing. And basically, the way we're going to be using this to be very beneficial throughout this challenge is that when you go to send, you can actually bulk send items. So for an example, let's go to our alt right here, which is Buffy Mogs, so right here. And when we hold in control and we actually click on an item, it will actually fill up the mailbox of all the same items. So if we're going to be doing green items, it will put all the green transmog items straight into the mailing. So I'll do it for an example. You hold down control and then you click on it. And as you can see, it automatically puts them all in the mailbox. This will make posting the transmog pieces to our alt, which is going to be selling them, a lot quicker and a lot easier. And then you simply just click send and it will send them all just like that. All right, 
So now we have the main add-ons that I'm going to be using covered. Why I'm doing this challenge is because grey and white items have just became available for transmogs. So we're going to be farming a whole heap of them and also all the other transmog pieces. So like your greens, your blues and your purples, we're going to be farming absolutely all of them. And they're going to go to this guy and I just thought it'd be a great way to teach anyone that wants to learn how to make a whole heap of gold from transmog farming to follow along with this challenge, maybe do it themselves even, and follow along on my journey and just showing you how it is and the realistic way of actually farming transmogs, like how many transmog pieces you need, etc. and things like that. And also, I just thought that this would be a fun challenge to do now that Dragonflight material farms, the prices for them are kind of going down. So the per hour gold you make from them Dragonflight farms has went down a whole heap. And a lot of people are looking for better ways to make gold and transmog farming, if done correctly, is definitely one of the best ways in the game to make a whole heap of gold. And But you have to know what you're doing and it's all a numbers game. So the more items that you have, the more sales you will get. So in the series, I'll be showing you absolutely everything, being fully transparent and showing you how many items it actually takes to get daily sales and consistent sales. And like I mentioned before, all of the farms that I'm going to be doing and all the techniques are all inside of my gold making guide. I'm going to be following that basically step by step using all the farms from there all the settings like the TSM settings to sell transmog items and everything like that I'm going to be following all from my guide so if you too want to learn how to farm transmogs how I am even in more depth than this series that is all inside of my gold making guide which is actually going to be the first link down below in the description box but anyways let's get right into this I'm super excited so let's get to it First off, we're going to send over the four bags, so we have inventory and also 1k gold so we can actually pay for the deposit fees for our first lot of transmog items. So let's get to it. Alright, so let's send over these bags. So we've got four bags and we're going to send over 1k gold just for the de deposit fees to get started. So we've sent that over, so off we go. So we're going to begin farming these transmogs. Let's go. Alrighty, so let's grab these bags and the few transmog items that we've got that we did a little farm to get just for example items. So we'll throw them in the inventory, we'll grab our bags, we'll put the bags in and then we're ready to go. We've got that 1k gold to begin with our deposit fees so we can actually start selling the transmog items that we farm. Now it's time after we do this to actually go out and start farming. So this character is in for a big journey, but he's not leaving anywhere from Stormwind. He's going to be running back and forth from the mailbox to the auction house every single day. All right, to start the transmog farming off, we're going to be doing a few hours of Solithus. That is a really, really good transmog farm to fill out the auction house. You get a whole heap of items and you have a chance at like a few, well it's like over five super, super good items. So we're gonna do that probably for like a few hours up to like five, six hours. And then also ZF is a dungeon and it's a really good dungeon to actually get a whole heap of transmog items to fill out the auction house also. So that one's down here in Tenaris. So this one right here, Soul Farak. We're gonna be doing this dungeon right here for a whole heap of items. Our main goal to start this off is to get a whole heap of items to pad out the auction house and padding out the auction house just means putting in a whole heap of listings up on the auction house or a whole heap of different items. And these two farms are a great way to start. Alright guys, so we're at ZF. What we're going to do is run uh, 10 runs of this till we are locked out. We'll see what items we get. We might even fill up the the bags before them. If we do, we just go over here, use the mailbox, and then continue doing our runs. So, we'll do the 10 runs and we'll see what items we get. 
Now, another handy add-on, which is going to make this journey a lot easier and a lot funner, is called Loot Appraiser. And we have it set up so that it basically feeds the data from TSM. So right here, the price source is from TSM, and we're using the market value, which is the price on my round specifically. And then also we have notifications set up, and we have them set to from poor all the way up to epic this way. We know what gray items and white items that we get that are worth a decent amount of gold. And how this add-on works is I'll just show you right now. So you want to start it. And basically, when you kill stuff and you loot things, if it's past the criteria that you put into there, it will actually pop up in the middle of the screen. So we'll just keep going till we get one here. As you can see, it just popped up right there. They're just, um, they're not transform pieces but it will pop up on the screen basically all the items that you get which you can set the price criteria to whatever you like so we'll just open this up again so you can set it right here we might set it to um, we'll just set it to 10 gold for now and basically that will just pop up on the middle of the screen that way if we get any huge items that are worth a whole heap of gold as you can see we can see what they're worth and then if we have a real big one we can notice to um to keep an eye on that item and make sure we don't get rid of it. And But anyways, we're going to run this dungeon 10 times and we'll see what items we end up with. All right, so we just finished the first run. Basically how you do this, you start here, you run down here, you run down here, around here, make sure you get the boss, run around here, and then you end up back doing basically a circle. And once you're here, you can run out the entrance or if you're on a druid, you can simply use your your dream walk and basically what this will do is teleport you outside of the dungeon and then when you teleport back in you'll be at the start of the dungeon so you teleport out you reset all instances so just like this or you can come to your character and collect and click reset instances and then basically if you nether walk again it will take you to the outside entrance of the dungeon where you can simply rerun again now this comes super handy and over time you'll save so much time by using this method as a druid instead of actually running all the way back to the start of dungeons. It's the best way to, and the quickest way to do it. Now for an example, we got a whole heap of items. The items that have a crazy value that aren't worth anything are these right here. So that's why it says 639k that we've made. These things here, um, they don't sell whatsoever and we will just be vendoring them. Now to show you how to vendor, it's super, super simple. What we do, so every run when we've got full bags, we will come to our, our groups right here and we simply click this right here, which selects all the items in our thing. Then we want to add them to the group. And now they're added to the group, we can use our mount or go to a vendor. And when we do this, we'll actually have an option. So if we go, to this part right here we have the option right here to sell the group and it'll sell it anything we've set it up so anything under 100 gold it will automatically sell for us so just like that there goes all the junk items and then we can go through and get rid of any of the other items that we don't want which we're going to be these ancient tablets we can get rid of those um, just other materials because we only want the gray and white transmog pieces saved so we can go through just like this. Um, we can get rid of the BO, oh, the soulbound items, because we do not want them. And just like that, we've got all the best items from that run. Anything that that's, that is over 100 gold, we'll have kept in the inventory and ready to go. So we'll do another run right now. Another thing that you might want to know, this is the build I'm using. Now the main things of this build are basically to have your speed increasing moves. Uh, talents. So this one right here increases movement speed by 15. Then you want tireless pursuit. Whenever you come out of cat form, it will give you a buff. So we're in cat form right now. And then you see you get this 40% uh, 40 movement increase when you come out of cat form. So it's just some extra movement speed. And then obviously you want to have dash. This has a very big speed increase, so 200% um, for five seconds. Then you want Stampeding Raw, which is a 60% for 8 seconds. 
and then you can have improved stampeding roar which will reduce the cooldown of stampeding roar by 60 seconds. Now another talent that is a must have, all the others you can really pick what you want really, but one that is necessary, this is when you're in your feral spec, is Lunar Inspiration. So this allows you to use Moonfire while you're in cat form, which is huge and super important. So I'll just show you how this works. So you can basically run around in cat form, which is your quickest form when farming, and you can spam Moonfire just like that. And the macro that I actually used for this, it's very simple, but it works very well. So it's um, slash uh, clear target, slash target enemy, slash cast moonfire. And it'll basically just cast moonfire on the closest target to you. So it's very, very simple, but it works extremely well. Anyways, we'll finish off the 10 run to this and we'll see what items we're left with. Alrighty, so another thing, if we get any like recipes and things like this, we will not be sending these to our transmog alt. We'll basically just sell this on the main character here and any other like materials will stay um, will stay on this character. We won't be sending them to the transmog um, bank character because like you know, this is from 0 to 10 mil from 100% transmog items only. So that's just a little pointer. Oh, awesome. We just got our first decent item, which is this right here, this axe. So it's a blue axe. It's got, it goes for about 7.3k on my round, and on the, all the regions, about the same. It's got a 0 0.010 um, cell rate, which is all right for transport pieces, but it's our first like main, main item right here. Let's put that down the bottom. We actually had a couple decent um, gray items too that were worth like 5 to 10k. But we'll have to see how they go selling. But anyways, let's finish off doing the farm. We're nearly done the second run. Another thing too, when you're doing all of these sort of farms, you want to make sure that you've got your speed set on. So gear that has speed and enchants with speed increasing enchants. And then also there are a few foods in the game. For example, here is one, the fried bone fish, which will actually increase your movement speed. So I'll just show you how this works, but basically every time you kill a mob, you get a six second buff, which will increase your movement speed. So as you can see, we've got the well fed from the fried bonefish. And now when we kill a mob, we actually get a movement speed. As you can see it like that. And it gives us 307 speed increase, which just makes things a lot quicker. As you can see, you, and when you're farming like this, you pretty much constantly have the movement speed up, so you'll be even that much more quicker when you're farming. All right, so we've done all our runs. What we want to do now is just put the rest of the items into the groups here, except our fried bonefish. All right, so everything's in there. We've run this a few times, so there shouldn't be too much, too many items under 100 gold. But basically, go to here, go to groups, sell groups, and we'll go through and also anything that is under the threshold that you set and ours is set to 200 gold a couple of the best items that we got here were these boots so these great boots they've got a decent sell rate too these boots also and then this axe with the main ones now the rest of the items are just decent filler items anywhere from like 100 gold up to like 20k gold so this will this will be a good start to our auction house and basically what we're going to do now is we'll send them all over to our um, auctioning alt, our, our, um, our mog alt and then what we'll do next is we'll head over to Solithus so right over here and we'll do the farm right here at the twilight base camp but before you do that you have to come over to this person right here where my mouse is talk to this person and it will turn Solithus into the old Solithus, and that is where you can farm the transmogs. So that's what we'll do next. So we'll head over, we'll use the mailbox of this town here, send them all over to our alt. So this will be the first big amount of transmog items going over to the alt, which will be listed up on the auction house. Super, super excited. Now, this is why Postal is so good. So you can save contacts. So the first contact 
that we have here is Buffy Mogs. This is our character, what we're going to be selling all the Mogs on. And then if you're holding control and you simply click on, say, a gray item, transmog item, it will actually put all of the other transmog items in there in that mail and you simply just click send and then you can keep on doing that and it's the fastest way to actually post your transmogs to an alt um, and it's going to save us so much time over the the many days that we're going to be doing this for while actually sending mail to our alt and i really like the feature that you can actually add contacts so this way you'll never spell the name wrong so you know anything that you send through the mail is going to the correct person and it actually saves the previous person that you've sent mail to and um, like as soon as you open the mailbox up it will automatically have it ready to post to that person so as you can see posting everything up oh sending everything over to the old super super quick and easy just finish up sending the rest of these Alright, and we're going to keep the recipes and sell on this character, and that is a soulbound. Alright, so perfect, we've got the first lot of transmog items sent over to the alt. Now what we're going to do is start a Silithus group. So to do that, we go to custom, start group, to put in Silithus, transmog, farm. Now, you want to do war mode, off. Basically, we're going to look for some people to come do this group farm with us at Silithus. Another thing, if you want to actually come and do farms with me throughout this journey, you can join our community and it's called Gold Cap Legends and this is on the NA servers. And what we're going to be doing is building this up with a whole heap of people. I'll have a link down in the description box below this video where you can actually sign up to this. Uh, you can be Alliance or Horde and basically it's just a group where we can talk to each other and we can group up to do farms like transmog farms and other farms to make gold but anyways what we'll do now is we'll head over to the spot for the silithus uh, transmog farm and we'll get ready to start doing that all right so this is where you actually come and speak to this person to turn silithus into the old version of silithus if you didn't know already i'll show you how it's done you simply talk to her and what will happen is i'll turn it into the old version of silithus where you can head over to the twilight base camp and start doing the Silithus transmog farm. Alrighty, so what we're going to do while the group is filling up and we're looking for people in looking for group, we're going to start just doing it solo, we might as well. So the macro that we're going to be using for this is slash target twilight, because that is the start of all the names of these mobs, and then cast moonfire. And basically what you want to do with this is be in cap form and just run around spamming this macro. And basically what it will do is automatically cast Moonfire on the nearest target. We want to make sure that we have our speed increasing food. So every time we get a kill, it will increase our speed movement even more. It gives a, well, we did that a tiny bit early. It gives a six second speed increase. Now, if you want to join any of these farms, like I mentioned before, we have our own um, community where you can join this and come do all the farms with me, all these transmog farms, that a lot of them require a group. So if you want to come along and um, come along with the journey and do some of the farms with us, you're more than welcome to join that. There'll actually be a link for this down in the description below this video, so you can go ahead and join that. But basically with this farm, if you didn't know where it is, it's located right here at the Twilight Base Camp. And this is what it looks like. There's mobs all around here. And basically, you normally just want to do this with five druids. That is why we've got a group forming. Once the group is formed, or even solo, if you are still waiting for players, you just run around in a circle just like this. And the quicker you do it, the better. And you just spam this macro, and it'll kill the mobs. And you just want to run around, basically killing all the mobs, just like so. And um, just keep running around in circles. Now you want to keep doing circles for about two minutes. And then you want to loot up because after two minutes that is when your loot will start disappearing so about every two minutes or so you just want to make sure that you're looting up all right let's get this open and we'll keep track of all the items that we get from here and there are a few really really good items that you can get from here there's um like the tipu blazing sword the um the skull the skull shield 
Um, there's a whole heap of items, like a whole heap of them that are worth like up to a million gold each. So hopefully we can come across one of them. Now I'm going to be running this farm probably for around, I'm thinking of doing about like 10 hours of this or so, just to really fill out the auction house with a whole heap of items. That way we can start getting some sales coming in with the transmog challenge. So that is our main goal. So why I reckon this is such a good transmog farm to start off with, we've only been doing this for 5 minutes, we're already at 18k worth of items, but you can just see that you get so many different transmog pieces from here, and it's a great way to start filling out your auction house with a whole heap of transmogs, because you need a lot of transmogs to actually get a whole heap of sales. That's the main like game of, of doing transmogs and making gold from transmogs, you want to have as many possible transmog items up in the auction house at one time. And this is just solo. When you do this with the group, you get a crazy amount more because it actually hyper spawns really well. And you can get like you can get like millions up to a million worth of um like even more than a million worth of transmogs per hour by actually doing this, and you get just so many. So that's what our main goal is now for the next probably five to ten hours we're going to be farming this hopefully we can get a good group together where we can just um farm this properly and make a whole heap of gold from the transmogs from here now with transmog farming i do recommend not doing just the one farm so you want to mix up your farms that you do you want to do a whole heap of different ones and then what that will actually do is put a whole heap of different transmog items up on your auction house you don't want to have all of the same transmog pieces and have like multiple of the same item that is fine but the main goal is to have a whole heap of different transmog items that way you have a whole heap of different transmog items and then more likely that people are going to buy one of them alrighty guys so we've done about six hours of the Salithas farm with groups of people we just finished up doing the last run right then and um we got a really, really good item, a crazy item. We managed to get the Tibu's Blazing Longsword. And this bad boy sells for 1 million gold on my server. So this is a great start to the challenge. We've mailed a whole heap of inventories of transmog items to the transmog alt, which is going to be selling them. We have a whole heap of like grey and white items too that we got. And some really good items, like we got a whole heap of the Vanguard um, set. So this one here, this is the legs, but we've got a whole heap more that we've already sent over. So what we're going to do now, I think is we're going to send over the rest of these transmogs. We've already sent probably like close to like 300 items over to the transmog alt or from the Silithus gold farm. Now what we're going to do is send these ones over and then we will I think we'll go do 10 runs of menotomes. Um, just to mix it up, I will do in between Manatomes and ZF. I'll run them two dungeons just till we have a whole heap of items listed up in the auction house. But anyways, I'm super, super excited that we managed to get a good item from here. It took about six hours to actually get a epic from here. A couple of people in the group got a few epics also, um, but nothing as good as this item right here. Now, why this sells so good is because it's such a good looking transmog item, as you can see. A lot of people want this item too, and yet it's worth one point. Uh, it's worth one million on my server. And if you look at the region historical prices, um, the region sell average is two hundred and fourteen k. The region historical price is four hundred and seventy nine k, and the region market value is five hundred k. So it sells for a bit more on my server. It sells for about one million gold. So hopefully we can get this to sell in the future, and that'll be absolutely amazing but anyways another thing that is super helpful for this challenge is actually having one of these yaks or any mount that will actually have a vendor on it this way when you're doing the farm you can just open up the open up your vendor that's on your mount and then do the tsm group sell and this will sell anything that is under the 100 gold threshold that we've set and just like that we've got all the good items that are worth sending over so what we'll do is we'll send them over to the alt now and I think we'll do 10 runs of metatomes and then we'll go over to the transmog alt check out all the items and we'll throw them up on the auction house so to post them over we're just using um, postal which is a posting app 
uh, yeah, posting add-on, sorry. Basically, if you're holding control and you click on, say, the green items, it will put a full thing of green items in there and you simply can just send it super quick. And it also saves contacts, so you can put a contact to the character that you're mainly going, going to be mailing things to and it will automatically select that person for you. So look how quick you can actually ship these, uh, mail these over to your alt. It's absolutely, it, it saves so much time when doing this sort of thing. Let's put in the, the blazing longsword. If we click on a gray, it will put in all the grays and then all the whites. And this makes it super quick just to um, mail all of the items over to an alt. All right, so they're, they're already sent over just like that. So what we're going to do now is go do 10 runs of Menotomes and um, try to just keep padding out the auction house and we'll jump on the alt and we'll list everything up. The next farm that we're going to be doing is Menotomes. And if you don't know how to get there, if you're Alliance, you just want to go to the portal room. Same with if you're Horde and you want to head over to the Shatrath portal. So we're going to the Outlands and this is the TBC zone. And basically where the dungeon is, once you come from Shabraf City, just down below here, and there's the top dungeon out of the four dungeons right here. And it's this one right here. Now it's super quick to run, and it's a great, great dungeon to pad out your auction house full of transmogs. You're gonna get a whole heap of different transmogs that all sell, well, some of them sell pretty well. But the main thing is that you get a huge amount of items by running this, and it literally takes three minutes per run. So once you arrive here, so you're down at this part right here, you just want to go down the bottom and into this tunnel here and it will lead you to the entrance of Menotomes. And basically to run this, it's super, super simple. You want to make sure you've got your speed set on and you basically just run through the whole dungeon and it will bring you to the end part where you can jump down and basically jump to the start of the dungeon. So I'll just move this, but basically what you're going to do is go around here, down here, around here, and then you can jump off a ledge thing, and you're basically back at the start, and you've run out, and then you've reset the dungeon. So we're going to run 10, we're going to do 10 runs of this, until we have instant lockout, and then I think we'll send over the items, and we'll check the, the banking hold. Oh, we just got a decent item too, by the looks of it. Let's just get out of combat real quick. So we've just got this item right here, which sells for 19k on my server. So which one was it? It was the the legs. So these right here. These oh they look pretty cool. That's why they sell so well. They've got a good sales rate of 0 0.049, which is very good for transmog items. And they're worth 19k on my server. And we've just started the run. Alright, so we've finished the first run. And as you can see it only took us three minutes to do so and we got 26k worth of transmog items which is very very good for the time actually spent in here you jump down here and it will bring you straight to the entrance of the dungeon where you can run out and once you run outside you simply can reset the dungeon go back in and then you can do it nine more times so let's go ahead and do that oh we just got another good item so what is it this thing right here so a sword that's worth 10k on my server what does it look like? Oh, pretty cool, like a samurai sword. Anyways, well, that's only on our second run, so we'll keep on going. Well, we're getting lucky. In the same run, we got another one, which is worth 28k, so another sword. This one's pretty cool looking, but that's only on the second run still, so we're at 70k on our second run. A little tip too, when you're running Metatomes, when you come and get to this last room, you don't actually have to pull all the mobs. You come here and you kill the boss, and the whole room will come running to you where you can just wait here wait for them to all stack up and then just aoe all of them down and then loot them all at once it's a lot quicker and a lot easier as you can see just like that and then you move on all right so we finished the runs we've got a full inventory of transmogs let's uh, sell the trash ones let's let them sell all right so now what we're going to do is we'll head to a mailbox and we'll mail them over to the um, the transmog alt where we're going to list them all up and see how many items we have in total alrighty guys so we're on the transmog bank alt that we're going to be posting all the transmog on 
and we have 670 items in the mailbox ready to take out and to throw up on the auction house. So what I'll do is I'll sort all of this out and we'll get it up on the auction house and we'll see what the total value is of these items. All right, so we finished posting everything. There was a total of 683 items, which were a total worth of 3,441K. So that's looking really nice. Let's set it by, sort it by highest first. So our best item by far is the Tibu's Blazing Longsword. Then we have some glorious leg plates, which are going for 325K. But the Wicked Chain Cloak of the Aura, then we also have the wolf, the wolf claw gloves. They're going for 155k, and then the mainly, the mainly the best items that we got. These two here items were from the Silithus Gold Farm, the Vanguard set. These might sell together. A lot of the time when the people buy the Vanguard stuff because it's in a set, they're normally buying the full set. So hopefully we can get a few sales there. But anyways. This is where we're going to end the first episode of 0 to 10 million gold from Transmog only. All the methods that I've been using and going to be using are all inside of my gold making guide. So if you want to go ahead and check that out, it'll be the first link down below in the description box. But hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future episodes. Let's get it.